What's up everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Venus opposite Neptune in the natal birth chart. So this is for anybody that has Venus opposite Neptune in their birth chart, or if they know somebody that has Venus opposite Neptune in their birth chart. So what is Venus? Venus is traditionally linked to Libra and also Taurus. Okay, so it rules over the second house in the natal birth chart, which is ruled by Taurus. And it rules over the seventh house in the birth chart, which is ruled by Libra. Venus has to deal with luxury. It has to deal with art, beauty, peace, tranquility. It has a lot to deal with the way that you love, the way that you want to be loved, okay, especially for a woman, it's definitely going to be the way that um, she loves and wants to be loved, her love nature. For a man, Venus has to deal with the way he wants to be loved, but it does not show his love nature. His love nature actually comes from Mars, okay, so Venus has a lot to deal with um, art, creativity, beauty, okay, um, justice, peace, you know, tranquility, all of those types of things. And taking out take of money, um, nice tasting foods and things like that, keeping yourself up, keeping your hair up, your clothes up, your style up, all of these things. What is Neptune? Neptune is very much linked to Pisces. Neptune rules over the 12th house of the natal birth chart traditionally. Okay, so when we speak about Neptune, Neptune has to deal with illusion, confusion, self-denial, self-deception, being deceived. It has a lot to deal with spirituality, but it has to deal with chaos. It has to deal with um, perceiving things, um, taking things in your mind, believing that things are one way and it could be completely another. Okay, um, Neptune also is linked to... Um, hospitals as well as jails past lives okay you know it's linked to water so when you think about it it's linked to the sign pisces so it has to deal with fantasy um ideals expectations high expectations um fantasy world how you know dreamy shit this is neptune okay it also is linked to betrayal as well okay so let's just jump into this the opposition Okay, in between this means that your Venus is in an opposite standpoint for Neptune. Okay, so you're looking at things from an opposite standpoint. For example, you could have, um, let's say you have Venus in Aquarius. That would mean that your Neptune is in Leo. See what I'm saying? Um, if you have Venus in um, Gemini. That would mean that your Neptune is in Sagittarius, just to give you a scenario. Now, if you do have it in a sign where it's not making an opposite because the opposite is the opposite sign, then it is at a degree that's making it an opposite still, okay? So maybe um, it, it was a little weak in this sign, okay? It's a little weaker because of degrees, and it still became an opposition, okay? But well, we're going to jump into this. So this aspect creates a struggle to get what you most want in life. Romance, harmony, perhaps a little glamour, and also luxury. Okay, so these people want those things. They want to be wined and dined. Um, they want peace, tranquility, harmony. Okay, these people also want to be very glamorous, very beautiful. Okay, um, and they can find it difficult for things to um, be exactly the way that they want it to be. These things are all achieved. But much work needs to be done to overcome disappointment and disillusionment with love and money. Okay, so you may suffer from low self-esteem and low self-image, especially when you are young. So these people are having a rough time in love. The reason why they're having a rough time when it comes to love is because they have high expectations on what love should be, how they should be loved, the way they want to be loved. They could be looking at their partners from an opposite standpoint with this, okay? And when I mean an opposite standpoint, I mean 
You could be looking at your partner like this person is the one and they're probably not the one. Okay, this person is good at cooking and, and maybe good at cooking, cleaning, raising children. And they may be good at cooking and cleaning and they don't know how to raise kids. Okay, so they're not looking at things very clearly here, even when it comes to their money. Okay. They're going to spend money on things that they like, things that they want. Yes, they're going to spend money on things that they need, but they're going to spend a lot of money on things that they just want. Okay, wanting to look good and wanting to smell good. Okay, wanting to eat good foods and things like that. This is what they're going to be um, doing. All right, also. So these people also may fear you are not worthy of enough to have an affection and caring partner who loves you for who you are. Okay, so these people don't really believe that they are worthy of love. Um, no matter how bad that they want it and they need it, they seek it out. Um, they do feel like they're really not really worthy of love the way that they want to be loved, okay? So this is something eternal, something that's going on with inside of them. Um, coming across affectionate partners and things like that is something that they need. Um, a lot of times they may get into relationship with partners that are um, in some specific area doing what they need and doing what they want, but other areas that they may be lacking, okay? Um, people with displacement can also be cheaters, okay? Um, not as faithful, okay, to people and things like that. Um, you may make significant sacrifices to keep your ideal partner and end up feeling unhappy and being used. So, yes, these are going to be the type of people that go above and beyond, okay? Um, and whatever it is that they're doing, to their partners will feel like they're not doing enough. They're not doing all that they could, all that they should, okay? And this can leave the Venus opposite Neptune person, um, the holder that has this, very unhappy, feeling used and abused, feeling like you took them for granted, take... You took their kindness for weakness. You see what I'm saying? So it is also likely that you may fantasize about or over-idealize your partner. Then feel gutted when they don't meet your expectations, okay? Putting your partners on pedestals is something else that could be seen with displacement, okay? Um, feeling like this person was meant for you, meant to be. Things that start not working out. Things are not working out any longer, okay? Feeling disappointed, feeling deceived, when all of this could have also have been self-deception, okay? You could have also deceived your damn self, thinking that this person was going to be like this, thinking that this person really was down for you and had your back, and finding out that they don't. Such disappointment in your love life stems from the same problem as any financial loss, such as being swindled, or blinded, investing in a whole bunch of different types of schemes. Okay, so these people, when it comes to relationships, they could feel like they were robbed in a relationship. Okay, yes, they're going to have things that also go on um, when it comes to financial matters as well. Okay, because these people do love to spend money on things where they will experience financial loss as well. Okay, sometimes at some point in their life, the up and down, like you're getting it and then you're losing it. You're getting it and you're losing it. Okay, but this particular um, information right here is providing us with letting us know that these people... Um, can take a loss, just like a financial loss, when it comes to love. This is a, um, a love loss, okay? They don't like that shit. A major problem with this aspect is self-image. Working hard to improve how you love yourself is crucial to achieving your dreams, okay? These people need to value themselves, respect themselves, love themselves, do a lot of self-love shit, Okay? Neptune rules the stage, screens, mirrors, oceans, and spirituality. So this gives clues about how to increase the amount of love you have for yourself. You can find deeper self-love through a more spiritual approach to life. Okay, um, maybe some people with this might want to get into yoga. Um, maybe people want to pray more. Okay, the power of prayer. Um, the power of that um, manifest, okay? Um, do a lot of meditation. But these people need to take time out for themselves. 
Okay, so now, it may be stripping off in front of a mirror and a webcam gives you self-confidence you need. Okay, so now, dance, music, anything that has to deal with these things that I'm about to mention is something that these people can also do. Okay, music can be soothing to the soul, and for these people, it can be very much soothing. Okay, as a matter of fact, anything that's linked up like this, Venus opposite Neptune, Venus um, trine, sectal, okay, all of this, these people love dance and music and things like that, but this particular one, definitely dance, music. Surfing or even swimming are the kinds of activities that these people can promote self-love and joy, okay? Um, now, you may want to decide to be a dancer professionally or um, some kind of musician or just being a singer or a rapper, okay? Um, but these people definitely um, need some kind of outlet, some kind of creative outlet to be free, be their selves. You could try... Okay, so these people can also um, love a lot of jewelry, okay, tattoos, anything that has to deal with fashion, anything that has to deal with cosmetics, um, decorating, okay, home decorators and things of that nature, um, or even decorate the workplace, the home, anything like that, okay, so... These people are very much into beauty, luxury, um, fine art, good tasting foods. Um, love is difficult for these people, okay? Um, I would say this, the number one thing first has to be um, loving yourself and self-love, okay? If you don't love you first, it's going to be hard for another person to even try, okay? Because you're not doing it for yourself, okay? But once these people um, build up their self-image, okay, um, and that low self-esteem, they can have more meaningful relationships um, that are not disappointing to them. Okay, not being involved in a relationship. And it seems like these people are um, just taking your kindness for weakness. Okay, not being attentive to you, um, not having respect for you, trying to get over on you, things like that. Okay, it could be a lot of games being played with these people because these people can also be the ones that play games as well, okay? But this can actually be in their minds due to the fact that they feel like you're lacking in certain areas and things like that and they need to be searching for something else um, because they are kind of searching for perfection, um, so to speak, when you're thinking about this. Um, they know how to look beyond flaws and things like that with other people and maybe people don't do that with them, okay? But it's a lot of things going on, Um financial matters and things like that spending a lot of money on things that you just like okay so we just gotta dim this down that's all um but you will also make a lot of sacrifices in your relationships and this can be the disappointing shit when it does not work out because you went in you went hard you feel like you put your all in okay and still coming out um feeling like you're shorted so I'm going to leave this on the snow for now. For future videos to come, I'll go more into depth into Venus opposite Neptune in the natal birth chart. Anybody want to get a chart analyzed, please hit me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. And also, thank you to everybody that's been tuning in. I appreciate y'all, all of y'all. Okay, so this is a force of nature. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. See you on the next one.